plans to live on the roof of his restaurant until the Bengals claim a victory. Right, he's been up there for two weeks now, and he was really hoping to come down yesterday. <laughs> uh, Local 12, he predicted it. Remember, he thought yeah, they, 21-6. Yeah. He, he thought the Bengals would win. Yeah, Local 12's Clancy Burke went up to talk with him this morning. I cannot imagine spending two nights up here, let alone two weeks, but that's exactly how long Jeff has been up here. And when I first got here, I was wondering, what, what's this whole situation like? Well, this is the tent that he has been in. And you know what? You might think, oh, a tent, man, these, uh, these living quarters aren't too great. When I open this up and you see, though, you're going to see he really spiced things up in here. And it is looking kind of amazing. I would say it probably looks better than my own apartment. But yes, 0-7, Jeff, have you lost hope yet? I haven't lost hope. I don't think they have much chance of winning, but I haven't lost any hope in them. <laughs> but you're, and you're still a huge fan. Oh yeah, I'll always be a fan. But you're disappointed. Yes, I'm disappointed in the ownership. Right now, I mean, what? where do you think they need to go? I think the ownership needs to uh, hold everybody to a higher standard and, and, and them themselves, yeah. you know. I mean, I hope they're watching. I hope they can uh, turn things around. But in the meantime, it does look like he's going to be here for quite a bit. So tell me, out of everything in this tent, what's like your biggest must have? You're like, I'm glad I brought this up here. Uh, probably just the nice, comfortable bed that Timber Ridge gave me <laughs> to sleep on. You know, uh, before I was sleeping on an air mattress, uh, the air inside the mattress would get cold. Now I'm up off the ground. I'm sleeping level, even though we're on a slope. Uh, a recliner. One of my friends had brought me, having a TV, being able to, you know, watch TV instead of just sitting here and with nothing to do. <laughs> exactly. And actually, one thing I love. Look, uh, look what his wife got him. If you guys watched the movie Castaway, the Wilson ball. But he has, uh, he has a little bit more than uh, Tom Hanks did. And. <sighs> Jeff, it's like I'm looking at you and I'm like, ah, oh, I feel like you're going to be up here for just so much longer. Is there any game coming up where you're like, ooh, we might have a shot? Maybe Miami. That's <laughs> the only one I'm thinking. That is the exact one I said. And guys, that's not till December 22nd. December 22nd! I mean, are you worried about how cold it's going to get up here? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely worried about that and the storms that could be coming through today. I heard they're supposed to be pretty bad. Jeff, I don't even know what to tell you. I really admire what you're doing. Hoping for, you know, I'm hoping for one in seven next week. But honestly, yeah, not too much hope. For now, back to you guys. I think we'll have to give him dispensation to come down out of there if it's that stormy. I mean, Tara and John Gum are going to be here all night, right? No. We're going to let him come down for the storm, right? No. Power Just on. don't tell, Jeff. Now, say, so, <laughs> if somebody spots, somebody spots a funnel cloud, run up and get him. Okay. As soon as it's gone, put him back on. <laughs> you know, You're tough, man. Yeah, you, you know, you're in the pool. <laughs>